Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Abby, and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite things, Disney on Broadway! <laughs> Well, my friends, it is that time again. It is time for the Epcot Festival of the Arts. It's my favorite Epcot Festival. We've already been. We're going again tonight when I'm filming this. I'm so glad that it is time. It's time again. And one of my favorite things at the Festival of the Arts is the Disney on Broadway concert series. The first year they had Festival of the Arts, I was already excited because, like, I love the arts, I love artwork, and I love dance, and I love music, and all that stuff. Then they announced the concert series, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I cried a little. I cried a little. Because Disney on Broadway is... holds a big piece of my heart. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to show you the concert footage from Kevin Massey and Carrie Butler's performance, and I'm going to take you song by song through the show and tell you a little bit about each of the songs that, that they performed, what shows they're from, where they fall in the show, etc. If you don't want to know any more information and you just want to watch the show, skip to the timestamp in the description, but if you want to learn a little bit more about Disney on Broadway, stick around. I'm going to tell you all about it. So first a bit about the performers. They do introduce themselves, so if you saw the show you probably already know this, but Kevin played the role of Tarzan on Broadway and actually I'm pretty sure originated that role in Germany and to further his involvement in the Disney on Broadway family, he's actually married to Kara Lindsay who played Catherine in the original Broadway cast of Newsies and also reprised her role in the live taped film version. Um, and Carrie played Belle in Beauty and the Beast, which is one of my favorite Disney on Broadway shows. I can never really choose a favorite because I love them all. <laughs> so let's get into the songs that they sing. They open with Son of Man from Tarzan, which is not only one of my favorite Disney songs, it's one of my favorite Disney on Broadway songs. And honestly, if there comes a year where Kevin Massey does not open his show with Son of Man, I will be very sad. <laughs> if he's done it every single year that he's been at the Festival of the Arts, they've opened with Son of Man, probably because it's still is like a really good, exciting, hi everybody, welcome to the show song. In the actual Broadway show, the song is sung by Turk, so there's actually a line that they change in the second verse, which I think is really fun, because Kevin sings, um, with me right here to guide you, with me to take your hand, whereas in the original Broadway cast recording, it's with me right here to guide you, with Turk to take your hand. <laughs> it's kind of like a go the distance montage kind of a situation, where throughout the song, you know, he grows up and by the end he's like an adult. More Hakuna Matata montage than go the distance, but you know what I mean. I love the harmonies that they add on this song, because normally it's a solo, it's not a duet, um, and I think it's a really clever way to like make it for two people, even though it's only for one person. The second song that they sing is Something to Believe in from Newsies. Newsies has quickly found its way up my list of favorites, but like I said, I can't really choose one, but the dancing, y'all. The dancing. If you haven't watched uh, Newsies live, it's on Netflix. Go watch it so good. This song is sung between the characters of Jack and Catherine. It comes pretty late in the show. It's it's after like Seize the Day, King of New York, all of that jazz. It's right before Once and for All, if you know where that falls, which is like right at the end of the show. Um, and it is the big love song, you know. It's great. Everyone loves it. Last year Kevin sang it with his wife Kara, who originated the role of Catherine, and it was just, it was really cute. It was really cute. But I also love Carrie's version, she did a great job. And I love this love song. It's one of the most beautiful love songs in Disney on Broadway, for sure. The third song that they sang, I was so excited about because this is a song that nobody really knows about unless they know the Little Mermaid Broadway show. Um, originally it's called She's in Love. They changed a little bit, made it He's in Love, and it's Ka Carrie singing about Kevin, and it was really fun. Um, if you saw our <sighs> Brush with the Masters vlog, then you saw a clip of this song. We tr we showed you a little bit of that. This song in the original show is sung by Ariel's sisters and Flounder about Ariel. It's a really fun song. If you haven't listened to the original, please do. I'll try to leave links to all of the original tracks of these songs in the description as well if you want to go check them out and listen to them. This is one I would highly recommend you listen to. It's so much fun. They cut 
the second verse, which makes me kind of sad, but it makes sense because there's only two of them, but that's Flounder's verse, and it's so cute. Ah, uh, he does such a good job. I just, I love it so much. If you know the movie, this falls in the scene um, right after Ariel saves Eric's life and comes back down and is so giddy and happy and her sisters are like, isn't it obvious, daddy? Ariel's in love, but instead they sing this really catchy song about it. Instead of just saying it, they're like, they're singing about how something's up with Ariel and it must be that she's in love. And it's so much fun. Um, this version was also an absolute blast to watch and this is the song where you're really reminded these guys are actors and they're really good at what they do. Um, they just turn on the silly and they turn on the serious and it's beautiful to watch. It's so amazing to see the talent um, and I loved that they included this song. Okay, now we have reached the point where it was probably the third time that night I had actually teared up watching this show because I was so excited to see this song and this show getting some love. So the next song Kevin sings is out there from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hunchback didn't actually make it to Broadway, which is forever something I am so sad about because it is incredible. If you haven't listened to the original cast recording and you like Hunchback at all, please, please do. It's so incredibly good. Um, the score is just insane. The way it's put together is so beautiful and honestly I love Alan Menken so much and I love all of the shows that he's done but I feel like Hunchback, the score, is his best work. <laughs> and I know that's a, that's a big step because he's done some pretty incredible things. But particularly the song Esmeralda, the way that he puts that together, oh, it's just, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about Hunchback, I'm gonna start talking about Out There. So, because it didn't actually make it to Broadway, uh, Hunchback doesn't really get much love at Festival of the Arts until this year. It wasn't even in the slideshow that runs before the show that, like, has all the posters from all of the shows. So I saw it this year in the slideshow, and I was like, we're getting some hunchback love up in here? I'm down. So, <laughs> that was so weird. Out There is one of my favorite Disney songs, and oh my gosh, he did it so well. It's just, it's such a brilliant song. It's such a beautiful song. I thought he did an amazing job. <sighs> okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on, but oh my gosh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, I know I say this about every song, but genuinely, this next song is one of my favorite Disney on Broadway songs ever. It was one of the first ones I was introduced to, because Beauty and the Beast, I feel like, is the gateway into the rest of Disney on Broadway. It's the first show that I listened to, and then I, like, moved on to Aladdin, Little Mermaid, and all, all of them. Ah, they're, oh, they're all so good. The song is home from Beauty and the Beast. This is, this song you might have heard before. You can actually hear the melody of it in a scene in the 2017 film even though the song didn't make it in um when Belle first sees her bedroom and she's like looking up and you see the chandelier and it's all really pretty you can hear it, home is what's playing in the soundtrack at the time and I cried a little bit in the theater not gonna lie I was so happy to hear it. it's just a beautiful song it means a lot to me and I was so happy to hear her sing it again and the final song of the show we've made it to the end and this one probably needs no introduction. It's a medley of songs from Frozen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Frozen is Disney's currently running Broadway show, and I still haven't listened through the whole soundtrack. Like, who am I? Um, but this medley doesn't really feature any of the directly from Broadway songs. They're all songs from the movie. They've done this one two years now, and I have a feeling that other performers in this series to come will also sing this medley or at least a song from Frozen, because Frozen is the currently running Broadway show. And I am so excited to see what the rest of the festival shows hold. So without further ado, uh, I will let you get into the concert. Enjoy it. Now you know a little bit more about it, you know, a little bit of context into the songs, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do.
Boys, Beauty and the Beast, and Tarzan, Carrie Butler and Kevin Massey. with you this afternoon. Many of you probably don't know this, but Kevin also played Tarzan in Germany. Jawohl. <laughs> dir gehört mein Herz. Ja, dir gehört mein Herz. Show off. <laughs>
Watch them as I hide up here alone Hungry for the histories they show me All my life I've memorized their faces Knowing them as they will never know me All my life I've wondered how it feels to pass a day Not above them, but part of them And of their living
Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies, but now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, bye.
video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if this would interest you. I'm thinking about doing one of these for every uh, couple from Festival of the Arts. Doing one of these like introductory context videos. So if that's something you're interested in, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know which couple you're excited for. I don't know who I want to say, but I am really excited for the Jacob siblings, Adam and Ariel Jacobs. They're going to be here. Adam was the original Aladdin. Ariel is currently Jasmine. I'm really excited. And he's gonna sing Proud of Your Boy, and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what song was your favorite? What show are you gonna check out? I wanna know. Tell me all about the Disney Broadway thing. Like I said, I love it to death, and I will forever talk about it because it means so much to me. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos or any Disney magic, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!